All right, folks, welcome back to another fantastic edition of Opali Presents Know Your Pros. And today's guest, we have Jorge and Joanna Lopez of Dude, Where's My Junk Hauling and Junk Removal Services? You guessed it. They are based in Oxnard and service businesses and homeowners in Ventura County, Santa Barbara County, in the San Fernando Valley. Dude, where's my junk? It's not at your place. It's in the back of their trucks and their trailers. These guys are good. Jorge, Joanna, it is a pleasure to have you both. Pleasure to be here. Yeah, thank you for having us. Well, we're stoked to talk to you. I guess I'm stoked to talk to you just because, uh, you know, I saw your trailers and I saw your trucks and the logos on them. And I know that... Um, You've done a little bit of brand work with our friends over at Graphics, and it looks fantastic. Thank yeah, you. thank you. We're wearing them right now, yeah. actually. <laughs> you guys got to put a Shopify merch site up on the uh, on the old website so we can buy out there. I think so. I think so. Got to promote, right? <laughs> so before we started shooting this, you guys were talking a little bit about like uh, how this business started. And it sounds to me like you guys were like a pandemic business, a pandemic baby, right? Mm -hmm. So why during the pandemic in uh, what, October of 2020, did you think, let's start a junk removal business? Let's see what happens here. Why was that? I guess I'll answer this yeah, you one. Go. <laughs> so basically at the time I was in construction um, during COVID, I didn't really feel, you know, I didn't, experienced the COVID like everybody else, you know, at home. I was in construction and I worked 40, 50 hours a week. And I was just looking for a way to basically make extra money to support, you know, I just had a, a kid, a boy that's four years old now. Um, he was still a baby. And that was my main goal was, you know, let's make a little bit of extra money on the side. And, you know, it just kind of, I took it from there. I never really, I never stopped doing it I always you know even with my other jobs we put an always you know 100% effort in that well so you told me Jorge that like one of the hardest challenges of starting this business was uh in the beginning like having it as a side hustle which so many people who are our age are now doing right like they don't have just one job they've got like one day job and they're moonlighting as junk removal specialists right um so like, with that in mind, like why then was junk removal and hauling, how, I mean, why did that turn out to be something that you could take full-time? Because that's what you guys do now. I mean, full-time, this ain't just no side hustle, not right? Just, no, not at all. Yeah. Actually, right now we're expanding our team, but um, I think uh, we took it full-time just because it, like he said, it never really stopped. It just kept going like, even when we had our dry spells, like when we had first started our business in the new year of 2021, uh, we didn't get calls for three months up until March. And it was like really hard for us. We really thought we were gonna hang up the towel with this and be kind of like, okay, it's over. You know, we had our run, it was fun. But um, even right then, I think would be one of our hardest times, right? Um, we didn't give up. We still kept going out. We started, well, we started our our promotion or we started promoting ourselves like by putting up signs like flyers. flyers. Yeah, we would put flyers up on poles and pass by and they would be gone the next day. But, um, you know, it still didn't stop us. We still kept going hard, trying to promote ourselves on Google, trying to promote ourselves, like I said, in the streets, on social media, even if we were little. And we just, we never stopped. We just kept growing and and um, I don't know if it's luck or if just because we're smart uh, with our business moves, but yeah, thank God it's it's never stopped and it's kept on going. So part of the reason why we do these videos is not just like to profile a business and interview the owners about their company, but it's sort of about the entrepreneur's journey here too, right? Because all of our guests, they're business owners themselves and they've faced tough times, you know, moments where they thought hey maybe i do hang up the towel which you just said um but you guys persevered and kept on going through it and now it's something where uh you know you've got great recognition in your local community and um a killer google presence 
killer mm -hmm. Yelp presence. You know, I'm looking at the Instagram and the TikTok even, and you guys are yeah. making things happen. Um, and to be frank, not a lot of businesses I talk to in the junk removal world uh, have great social media presences showing off all the work that they're doing. Um, and beyond social media, though, why is it that somebody should go out and call you guys at Dude Where's My Junk? What is that? I would say for starters is, I guess, our approach to the business. We don't just show up, provide the service, you know, get a check and leave. We're more, you know, we're, we're here to help the customer at the end of the day. Um, we're, you know, we'll, yeah. we'll want to build a relationship okay. with the client okay. and, you know, be more than just, oh, you're somebody that picks up your trash, like, oh, here's money, go. And, you know, I want, I want to know who you are. I want to, you know, Oh, how many kids do you have? Like, I like knowing that stuff about our clients. You know, I like to know where you've been, who you are and stuff like that. Just small talk, even if you don't want to talk to me, I like to know that stuff just because I want to know who my clients are. And, you know, I just, I just like talking to our clients and, you know, I, I like the day-to-day -day operations of seeing our clients and like I said, knowing who they are. And, you know, that's, I, we want to build a relationship with them exactly. in the long run. So right forever basically be our clients and the personal relationship aspect of it is really important just because that's how you uh you know stay front of mind for folks um you get into the story of how we got to this point whether it's a hoarding situation or we've got a backyard that's just been totally neglected for years and years now all of a sudden we're cleaning it out we're starting fresh off a new slate or maybe that garage is just like totally busted and it hasn't seen a car in 25 years right um you know the angle there is is really important to understand just because uh yeah not only do you get a sense of who that person is but who that broader community is and you know maybe where the next opportunity might be too which is great mm -hmm. yeah so with dude where's my junk I, I already asked here's a bonus question you know about uh you know, the likeness to dude where's my car that that wasn't the inspiration though with this though right dude where's my junk i you know had to make a pun on it at the beginning but you know jorge i figured i'd ask you like why call it that you know i still try to find the answer to that sometimes um like i said i just went over a bunch of names and just trying to put words together and I kind of came up with that and then you know i've had some people make comments hey you know that's just like the movie and i'm like you know, I guess it is similar, but no, that that wasn't the goal was to try to copy it or anything. It just kind of, it just it came fit. to be, yeah. yeah it and, just and it stuck. Exactly. Well, I suppose it begs the question of, do you guys ever haul away vehicles? Is that going to be, or will, is it already a part of your services at Dude, Where's My Junk? Uh, Spe special way. occasions, yeah, yeah we have. <laughs> we've done it before. Yeah. Not us personally, but we, yeah. we've had it done before. Yes. Well, you know, I think in your line of work, you know, what you really just want, if you're calling a junk hauling and removal service company like you guys, uh, you want to have it uh, there the minute you call and then not there, uh, hopefully in a day or less, which I imagine you guys are all about it, dude, where's my junk? So, um, you know, vehicles uh, or anything else, uh, hot tubs, pool tables, beds, couches. Oh, my gosh. You guys have seen it all. It's been three years here in Ventura <laughs> County, and uh, you guys are only growing, which is why I wanted to have you here on the show. But before we wrap all this up, guys, um, please let our viewers know, anybody who is out there looking for your type of service, how they can get in touch with you guys. Uh, yeah, give us the plug. Uh, you can reach us. Uh, you can always call us, obviously, at 805-607-1325. Um, you can also text us at that number. Uh, we also have our email at doodors my junk no apostrophe uh, at doodors my junk at gmail.com no apostrophe yeah. and um, Facebook Instagram, Instagram Yelp. TikTok Yelp Google we're basically yeah, everywhere yeah. I mean we try to be hop online folks and Google dude where's my junk and you'll find Joanna and Jorge the yeah. local business owners out of Oxnard serving Ventura County and the broader Tri-County community. You guys are fantastic. Um, uh, that, I believe, that's all the time we've got. So I'm gonna say goodbye. Thank you folks so much for being a guest here today on Know Your Pros.
Yeah, thank you for having us once again. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much.